In today's video, I wanted to talk about the topic of outsourcing. Outsourcing is amazing, all right? It's great to outsource if you know what you're doing and if you have too much to do and then you give it to somebody else and they're doing it for you, all right? However, as a beginner, most outsourcing procedures are terrible and you should not outsource almost anything as a beginner and I'm gonna explain to you why. So the very first thing you have to understand is before you outsource a thing like, let's say, product research, you need to be very good at product research. You need to understand what a good product is and how to identify if the product which the person found for you is good or bad, okay? If you cannot do that, it doesn't make any sense to outsource because you're gonna just 100% rely on them doing a good job and you don't even know if they actually are. So picking a random person from Fiverr is a terrible idea to do product research for you before you know how to identify winning products over and over again. And the same applies to almost every area of dropshipping. Same thing goes in ads. If you have no idea what a good ad is and then buy a, an ad from a weird company or like from Fiverr or so, it, it's tough because you don't know if it's good or bad. So the only way how you can actually outsource before you're good at things is trusting a person who's going to recommend them to you. All right. So for example, if a new client comes to me and they ask me for a good videographer, I can provide that because I've already worked with them and I'm 100% sure that they're actually really, really good. Okay. I'm going to connect them and it's going to be fine. And for that, the client, first of all, has to trust me. He has to be 100% sure that I actually know what I'm doing. And also I have to trust the videographer. So if that connection is there, it's not a problem you can outsource, even though you don't know what you're doing. However, if that's not the case, I wouldn't do it. The only step along the way where you can actually manage to outsource things is only the store creation, all right? Store creation is not that important. I have a bunch of other videos discussing that. And it's pretty simple to create a basic store on Shopify. However, if you're just like, you, if you don't have time or if you, you're not technically versed, it's not a big deal. You can outsource it to, to a Fiverr guy and it's, it's gonna be well made probably, okay? I didn't see like huge problems with stores on, on buying the, on, on Fiverr if you have a person who's at least decently okay. What I've actually seen a lot of people do is that they think that dropshipping is this done for you business, all right? They outsource the product selection, they outsource the store creation, they outsource the ad creation, they outsource the Facebook ad setup, they outsource everything and they think, I'm smarter, I'm gonna connect, collect all the money and other people will do things for me. It, it's not gonna work. 100,000% is not gonna work because you're just picking random people off the internet to do something which you, which you don't even know how to do, okay? It's not gonna work out. If that actually would be the case, it would be the easiest thing on earth to just to make money online. You just pay people to do things for you and that's it, all right? That's not the case. And also, I've seen a lot of those agencies which pretend to do everything for you. They find a product for you, they set up the store for you, they make the ads for you, they, they do the Facebook setup for you, they do the whole thing for you. For me, I have never in my life found an actually good agency which is doing the whole thing for you. Because the whole concept of an agency in dropshipping which does everything is flawed, okay? Normally, the goal of those agencies in reality is to make a good strategy, okay? They don't know exactly what they're doing yet and they, they use your budget to actually spend it for the ads and see which product works, which thing works, and then they start to understand better and better what, what actually really does work, and then they do things by themselves, all right? Because it, the other way, that just doesn't make sense. And I'm not saying that there's no good agency out there. Maybe there is some, but I've never seen any really good one, and I've also never heard of any good one from other people. So yeah, I think I made the point clear. You should not outsource as a beginner. However, if you start to make money and if you start to build a profitable online store, you actually obviously can outsource. And I'm gonna give you a quick priority listing of what you should outsource first, how you should outsource, and how you should, should go about it, all right? So the number one thing is gonna be customer support. You're gonna be over flooded by, by emails if you have like a couple of thousand per day um, in, in revenue. You're, you're gonna start to get more and more and more emails, and it's just such an unnecessary task which does not produce extra money for you if you do it, but it takes a lot of time. So it's really important to get rid of all of those tasks, which take a lot of time, but that don't produce that much money. And basically you go on Upwork and find people who are gonna help you out with that. In my program, I basically give, give like VAs already to the clients, which I've worked with at some point, which is just gonna be more helpful because I know I can, I, I can trust them, all right? And I've personally also been scammed throughout my whole dropshipping journey by, by customer support people, and in general by outsourcing to, to, like, to strangers. Always something can happen if it doesn't go through a recommendation, all right? 
But anyways, customer support, order fulfillment, those are the first things you outsource. After that, you start with store and ad creation. Uh, basically, those two things are also going to be the, the, the second. And that's also really important because it's just going to free up so much time if you actually have a person who's doing as good of a job as making ads as you and stores as you, um, which you just pay money instead of wasting your time. All right. And you always have to put it into perspective because you have to understand that if you start to make really good money with dropshipping, your time starts to be worth more and you have to outsource everything which is, um, which is taking your time to other people because now the, the money making activities are actually somewhere else. And if that actually happens, if you outsource those two things, it's going to be so much more easy to test the product because it's not going to be a, such a huge hassle. And I've, I've seen a lot of people get like stifled by that feeling of, all right, I know I, to test the product, I need to, 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 to create a store, to create the ad, to create so much things um, before I can even test it. And that actually prevents a lot of people from, from testing a lot. So you need to understand that if you have those th things down, it's just going to be so much easier and you're not going to feel bad about testing a new product because it's going to make everything so much easier. All right. And then after that, you're going to have a person who's going to be there for all the technical stuff on Facebook, just the basics, like setting up the ad sets, the campaign, the ads, connecting the pixels, like creating the lookalike audience, creating the custom audience, just the basic things, um, which doesn't really require thinking, but it's going to be really, really time freeing if you have a person who's going to help you with that. Okay. So if you have all of those things done, you can theoretically start searching for a media buyer. I tried it a bunch of times and for me, it never actually worked out. I never found a person in the media buyer like field who's running ads for you, who was doing a better job with ads than me. And it was really tough because every time I paid somebody and they were doing less and worse things than I do. And then I thought, all right, this is actually something I'm not going to outsource. I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe at some point I'm going to find a good, really good person, but I, yeah, I, I don't have a good experience with that. And also it's really interesting that I don't know a lot of people who actually also have a good experience with this. So a lot of advanced drop shippers and e-com store owners are still running Facebook ads by themselves. And I also don't think it's a bad thing because it's not that time consuming and it's really only about the thinking process and all the technical stuff. You should for sure have a person who's going to do it for you. So I hope I made it clear that you need to do things by yourself and it's not going to be just people doing shit for you. If you are actually okay with that thought and understand that it's not a big deal to actually do things by yourself and you're, you're eager to do that actually, then what you can do is click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session with me personally, and we're actually going to figure out if we're a good fit to, to work long term together. It's basically going to be a one on one coaching program where I'm going to look at everything you do, tell you exactly what's good, what's bad, what you need to change, why it's good, why it's good, bad. And we're going to constantly go through all the steps from A to Z from basically finding a product to building a brand. We're basically going to go through the whole process and I'm also going to be there for the accountability of things. Because I've seen a lot of the issues are not technical things so not knowledge things. It's just actually doing it and applying what the strategy requires. All right. I'm constantly going to be there to push you and tell you, all right, do this, do this, do this. Don't slack on this, test the next product or whatever. And that's also going to be very, very beneficial. So if you actually want to find out if we're a good fit to work together long term, click the link below, sign up for that and we're going to see.